Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got top science news on solar forcing, possible encroachment progress of the galactic current sheet into our solar system, and a new mission to track solar particle energy impact. But we're now in day three of the solar storm, so let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star. Quiet up there, not so much back here at Earth. Minor perturbations and flares up in the corona. Longitudinal filament center disk breaks and begins destabilizing near the end of the sequence. It is in a collapse process. But while the sun has been quiet for two days, the solar wind has also finally died back down here at Earth. Now, despite the return of the plasma stream to relatively normal range, we're in another day of solar storm conditions. Really hoping this wanes today. We're pretty close to the moment where we say, uh, you gonna get back up, big guy, or wait for more volcanoes to pop off like Etna did yesterday? Come on, up, off the floor, dust yourself off, let's go. While we monitor the solar storm, we're watching the big sunspots departing and decaying as they turn. While the next spots are just now cresting the limb on the south, the plasma filaments are pretty numerous. Even with the collapse of the central filament this morning, big ones are right behind it. Eruptive threats are with those filaments until the next sunspots arrive. We've got eyes on all of it. Hopefully this solar storm stops soon. First up in the articles, we come to gravity wave and related wind modulation in the upper atmosphere where they find clear signs of decadal oscillation, pretty much matching the 11-year sunspot cycle, and the lower level winds also known to be forced by the solar cycle. No surprises there. But up next, bit more surprising. Folks, when they discuss interstellar helium and pick up ions impacting near-Earth solar wind, they're talking about the stuff that has been on the rise along with interstellar neutrals and galactic dust. This is something we expected to happen due to the encroachment of the galactic current sheet. Didn't necessarily expect them to tell us about it, though. I guess we'd be seeing this around 2030 in the sunspot minimum, but maybe it's yet another thing happening a bit faster than I anticipated. Last but not least, God save climate zealots who insist on ignoring solar particle forcing because the tracer's mission is going up, going to fly right through the polar cusps and measure the particle impact on the atmosphere. Pretty much the recipe for debunking the mainstream climate narrative, and if it stays up long enough, may even be able to track particle penetration enhancements due to the ongoing magnetic pole shift. Fingers crossed. Folks, this weekend at Observer Ranch, we've got the dome building class. That's a big one for preppers. Next weekend, it's the Pole Shift Conference and Animal Processing Workshop. We've got prepper weekends after that, and Mike and I have something pretty solid planned for you guys there. The rest of the year is full of conferences, more prepper events, and other Observer Days at Observer Ranch. would love you to come out and see us. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.